Hi, I'm going to show you how you can link and automate any um, chart in PowerPoint to any Excel spreadsheet. Uh, that way, when the data in your Excel spreadsheet changes, you can uh, automatically update all the charts uh, in your PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to show you how to do this using the Engage add-in. So first, you want to make sure that you have the Engage add-in uh, installed here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this column chart. And I'm going to click on the Insert tab. I'm going to click on Chart. And uh, we'll start with the column chart. But uh, what I'm going to show you works with the line chart, the pie chart, the bar chart, the area chart, all of these uh, charts here. Um, so let's go ahead and insert a column chart. And you can see here is uh, when you insert um, any one of these charts, uh, PowerPoint automatically opens this uh, data table for you. And so if you want, what you can do is you can go ahead and start updating that data right away and it'll update your chart. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, select this uh, table here and I'm going to do a control C to uh, copy that data. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy paste this data. So here I'm going to put control V into a new spreadsheet. Um, and in this new spreadsheet, I'm going to do a file save as. So I'm going to click file, save as, and I'm going to save it to uh, my desktop. And I'm going to call this file uh, source data. Okay. And so uh, over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the values. Um, I'm going to put tens across series one. And um, for the categories, I'm going to update the names of the categories. I'm going to call this um, different countries. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this file and I'm going to save my changes and I'm going to close this. And so um, now I'm going to show you how you can link up uh, this chart to that uh, Excel spreadsheet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the Engage tab and I'm going to click Automate uh, Microsoft Excel. And then I'm going to click this Create a Link button. So then it's going to ask me to select the chart that I want to uh, link and automate. So I'm going to go ahead and select this chart and then I'm going to click link selected shape. Uh, and then over here, um, it's going to ask me to find that Excel spreadsheet that I want this chart linked up to. So I'm going to click on browse and uh, on my desktop, I had saved this uh, file here, source data. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then it's a cell picker. So I'm going to pick a range. Um, so I'm going to pick the range that I just copied and you'll notice that um, I have the names of the countries and I've got the values in series one, which are not all tens. So once I've selected that range, I'm just going to go ahead and um, click this button and it's going to link up this chart in my PowerPoint presentation to that Excel uh, spreadsheet. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to do a couple changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the title. So I'm going to call this um, Metals. And uh, I can also uh, change the colors if I wish. Um, so instead of that blue, uh, maybe I'll make it uh, yellow. And um, now I'll show you a shortcut. So um, there's different ways you can update the data. So if you want to update the data in this chart manually, um, you can always uh, right click on the chart, click edit data. And what this will do is um, it um, has that little window with the uh, data table. So I can update the data this way manually. That's one method. Um, so whatever data you have in that uh, Excel source data file that you've linked up, when you update that data, it'll actually go ahead and uh, update the data in the Excel embedded worksheet as well. Um, but what I want to do is I want to I want to update the data in my source file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, my desktop and open um, that source file. So here it is, um, and you can see now the formatting is in blue, uh, which indicates that this um, range of cells is what's feeding that. Uh, uh, chart in the PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to update this to gold, silver, bronze. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add another column. Uh, I'm going to call this super gold. And I'm just going to 
make up some different values. Um, but the idea is that um, you can go ahead and update uh, this as long as you maintain the uh, structure. So uh, in this case, the structure is, um, you know, I have like a different uh, columns and different rows. Uh, so if you skip a row and you, you know, add data over here, it's not going to pick up any of that data. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete that. Um, so once I've made my changes, I can save this file. So I did a control S for save, and then I'm just going to close this file. And uh, when I come back here, um, I'm going to click on engage. I'm going to click on automate Microsoft Excel. And then over here, I'm going to select that source file. So it detects that this PowerPoint uh, file uh, has a, an Excel source file that's being linked uh, to automate. And once I've done this, I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, reload values. Um, and so what that's going to do is it's going to go open that Excel, Excel spreadsheet, that source file, and it's going to grab that data. So now you can see that I have super gold, gold, silver, bronze, and that for super gold, I have the values of 25 uh, across the top. And of course, I can um, change this the way I would any PowerPoint shape. So if I want to change the color, uh, to green, I can do that. And that's how you automate any chart in your PowerPoint presentation to any Excel spreadsheet using the Engage add-in. Thank you.